Sports fans, and welcome to another great 2K Sports production. You've waited a long time for this game, and it's finally here. Broadcasting live from County Stadium, playing on their home turf, we have the Hawks. They'll be matching up against... I'm Dan Stevens, and joining me, as always, is Peter O'Keefe. Let's take a look at today's All-Pro lineups, Peter. Well, don't even think about questioning these two players. They've been tried and tested. They're the best there is, and they're playing on the same team. But they're not the only team featuring superstars. These two All-Pros are what it's all about. Big-time performances, last-play heroics, and consummate professionalism. Peter, thanks. Now let's go to the coin toss. All right, Sammy. You ready? Gentlemen, please make your call. We want tails. It is heads. Well received. The Hawks have won the toss and select to receive. Number one, boots it downfield and we're underway. Hagel catches it back at the one. The 26. Ryan Pogo received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Hawks bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 26 yard line. Number 23 will get stopped at the line and that brings up second down. The Clellian fires this one over the middle and it's tipped incomplete. Come on, D. Desire, baby. Desire. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is widely loaded up on DBs. Barnes gets the sack way back at the 19. Fourth down coming up. Jerome Barnes did a great job back there by not only getting the sack, but getting him way back for a huge loss. They pushed them back even farther. And Peter, could this fourth down get any longer? Well, theoretically, yeah, but it's plenty long enough already. Carlisle lines up to punt after the three and out. Carlisle takes the long snap and punts it away. Powell fields the deep punt at the 36. Bang down at the 48. It was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. Their 48-yard line. Number 90 sacks him back at the 45. Second down, 13 yards to go. Floats this one out to the right sidelines, and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Edward Slater just couldn't have been expecting this. Three defenders on his tail. There had to be someone else open. Risky, but the throw paid off. How's that for a quick start out of the gate? <laughs> if, if that's any indication of what this game's going to be like, fasten your seatbelts, folks. We could be in for a wild one. Smith takes it across the line and takes it upfield. Puck hard at the 21. Second and inches from Tommy Bullet to the flat and it's complete at the 21. Locked down at the 17. First down, three wideouts in the game. I'm about to put the blanket 
is the incompletion. Tyrone Massey came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That would have been a touchdown, but instead the defense comes up big and forced the incompletion. Way to prevent the big play. It'll be second down. sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, man, that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. That'll be his first sack of the game. Number eight. Number eight, can't believe he's this wide open. The coverage simply does a disappearing act. That's a magic trick the defensive coordinator needs to retire. He caught it short of the marker, but found a way to move the ball into first down territory. That's a huge play on third down. Otherwise, they'd have to kick it. First down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Smith takes the handoff and searches for a hole. Somebody Man. play action fake! Whoa, deadly receiver combination out there. Keep your eyes open. Williams packers in for a short loss. Jonathan Williams read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Number 10 doesn't leave much room for error on this one. It's either a great pass and completion or an interception. Let's take a look. Well, that's a great catch and a great completion. You don't see many quarterbacks thrown into double coverage like that and succeed. That's the first score of the game, and it was very nicely done, Peter. Great execution. Here's the point after, and it's good. Don't get down, guys. This is nothing. Nothing. When we get the lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. Number one kicks it off. Pagel fields the kickoff at the one. What down at the 22. Ryan Pogo is able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Hawks, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 22-yard line. Miller kicks it away on the coverage, incomplete. Doug Miller came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down with the tight end, White. Number 48 sacks him back at the 17. Number 48 gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. They read that play the whole way, and they force a third and very, very long. Yeah, monstrous D, the past few downs for these guys. And that'll do it for quarter number one. Seven to nothing. Incompletion. Fourth down coming up. 
Anthony Carter couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. It was third and very long, and it didn't look too hard for the defense to stop that play right in its track. You know, Dan, that's what pressure on first and second down will get you. You push them into a hole, and then it's hard to climb out. Fourth down ahead. Powell oh, at the 34. Right down at the 49. Tracy Powell gets a long, long punt heading his way. Gets it and doesn't get a whole heck of a lot more. Good job by the kicking squad there. Their 49-yard line. First and 10. 49 yard They're going there. They're going there. I see pass. <laughs> Number 51. He penetrates and makes the stop at the 48. Number 51 read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. <laughs> Number 10 throws a heater right sideline and complete the 41, eventually tackled at the 33. That Number 19 has no one around to stop him, and what are the defenders doing out there? What? I mean, w were they thinking he'd drop it? Uh, apparently, they, were th they weren't even thinking at all. It makes you wonder how far away we are from substitutions in that secondary. He just couldn't get cranked up coming out of the tunnel, waiting until the second quarter to make his first catch. And you know, that's a big confidence builder, Dan. Now he should be able to settle into his game and retreat. Smith gets the toss and runs into traffic. The 36. Leroy Keller targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number 10 throws a bullet. The ball is caught at the 29. Finally stopped at the 25. First down. Mark Ford stayed with his blockers on that last one and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. A big gain on third and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Number 10 rushes it out left side and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Number 11 easily overcomes the double coverage to nab the football. Perfect synchronization by the quarterback and the receiver. Second Way to get open. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Smith makes the nice catch, and he's looking for room. Touchdown! Clinton Smith makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. Anderson will hold the kick. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Extra point is good. Number one boots it away. The Hawks let this bounce out of the end zone for a touchdown. The Hawks can climb back into it with a score before the half here. They'll start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 23, he his right of center and rambles for about five.
Number 21 and gets past the markers for a first down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Nice second down call. Two minute one. McClellan throws a heater right sideline and he's hit as he throws incomplete. Randy McClellan took a shot back there, which is why that pass went nowhere. The incompletions keep piling up and even here in the second quarter, it doesn't seem to be improving. Not at all. They're just not getting it together. The timing, the routes, the protection, nothing. forces the incompletion. Randy McClellan put his whole arm into that pass and came up pretty short. Third and ten from Mohawk. Look out, Dave! That's what we stand for! Set. Bro, bro, bro! <laughs> McClellan unloads this to the right sideline and they can't connect. Incomplete. Doug Miller shadowed the slant route back there and kept the receiver from making the catch. Incomplete pass. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Carlisle takes the snap and hits a beauty. Powell feels the punt at the 19. Drag down the 30. Number 10 really rifles this pass, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. 26 yards on the play. Let's make sure we keep him out of field goal range here. First and 10. From Slater with the bullet on the left, and that will be a gain of three yards. Second and six. Ball at the 37 yard. Number 10 threw that one away. Incomplete pass. Third down, one man down. Number 10 rifles this one. And they get the first on third and long. This is an aerial stop, man. Woo-hoo! All the time now. It's intercepted. Number 19 tackles him for a touchback. Big pick, baby. Big pick. Must feel like they need to score this time out. This drive will start at their own 20 yard line. McClellan lets it go the distance here, and it's tipped incomplete. Anthony Carter came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Second down. The clock is stopped at 25. First time up. First down, empty backfield. <laughs> 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 
Clelian throws this one deep down the right sideline and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Randy McClellan throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. What a pass, and he is generating some great... The replay booth will review the previous play, whether the pass was caught in bounds. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Oh, that, that's a catch, Dan. He's in bounds. This call's going to stand. After review, the play stands. The pass was complete. The catch was made prior to going out of bounds. We're shutting you down, baby! You can't move the ball! and that will be an incomplete pass. Randy McClellan got some big pressure back there, and that affected the throw. That would have been a big play and a big first down, Peter. They just don't sync up. Good call. Maybe next time it'll work. McClellan throws it deep down the left sideline, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Randy McClellan brings it across the field and finds his man. That, my friends, is a strong arm. You have to respect this offensive game plan. The replay... Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. After review, the pass has been ruled incomplete. The catch was made out of bounds. Third down. Number 11 with the 44-yard attempt and misses this one to the right. Number 11. Usually can make these with some regularity, but not today. Oh, something went wrong there from the get-go. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. 14 to nothing. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? Now a look at our halftime comparison, and as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Hawks are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 10 connected with his man on this one. A 24-yard play that set up a visitor's touchdown. Strike first and go up by seven. Midway through the second, this time at the 14. Smith had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 13-yard touchdown for the visitor. Late into the second quarter, leading by 14. Zorn was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Hawks have it off an interception. McClellan is back to throw, and this is nothing more than a little pitch and catch with his wide receiver. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Hawks are down at the half, 14 to nothing. All right, good work, partner. 14 to nothing. Let's get down to the field and the action. Deep to receive. Number 11 sends it away to begin the second half. Smith carries it for the sixth time and heads out right. Round to a halt at the 25. Number 32 with the tag. Thank <laughs> you. 
Slayton grabs the move right side and gets past the markers for a first down. Edward Slater had a defender playing him close, but shook him at the last moment. You can't coach that. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to get. Smith gets the toss and it's taken down near the line and actually loses a bit. Number 96 read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. of the game. Number one is back for the point after. Anderson will hold the kick. Here's the point after and it's good. Number one sends it downfield. The Hawks let this bounce out to one zone for a touchdown. The Hawks are fading fast and desperately need to score. Their offense will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 23 picked up about 12, and that will bring up first down. Number 23 took advantage of some really good blocking there. They opened up a hole. And he's able to cross the line and get a bunch more without uh, really much resistance. And that's what the O-line gets paid for. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Watch out! for a first down. And Randy McClellan handles big time on this play, and it works. It makes it a little more exciting to watch, too. Oh, if he wasn't accurate on this throw, it would have been an interception. It's a real fine line. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 71 yards and no interceptions. McClellan throws this one way downfield, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Sammy Ball came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Number 48. That's this one at the line of scrimmage. Incomplete. Randy McClellan delivered a pass as hard as he could, but it wasn't nearly enough to connect with his receiver. Third and ten. Ball at the 43 yard. Let's go, deep. McClellan fires this one over the middle, and the reception is made. It is, however, short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Number 23 will get stopped at the line, and they will be short and turn the ball over on downs. Number 42 makes his presence known on this one. He's going to haunt the ball carrier's dreams for a while. A oh, big tackle on fourth. That's how you stop a conversion. I think they needed that conversion if they wanted to turn this one around. Instead, they hand it over. Well, it's still third quarter, though, Dan. And if their defense can really shut them down, then they might get some hope. Number 10. And it's caught at the 49. 
runs out of bounds at the 45. Clinton Smith made the catch and iced the cake with a few more yards. Way to fight for more, buddy. Whoa, this is a nice surprise. The coaches have made him involved, resulting in yet another catch. Yeah, working your runner into the throwing scheme poses huge matchup problems for the defense. And you saw it there. Smith picks up about two, and that will bring up third down. We have a flag on the plate. Let's listen to the call. Enrique Daniels had crossed the plane made by the tips of the football on that last one, so we got the call for a neutral zone infraction. First and ten. Number 10 throws a bullet and the ball is caught at the 30. Eventually rolls out at the 17. It Number 80 is going to make a great run after the catch. Oh, there he snags the football, then fires up the Jets. That's big time talent. Ooh, that guy was rumbling. Ooh. Ha, he's not exactly fleet of foot, you know, but on that last play, he spun his wheels and really dug in for those extra yards. And when you barrel down the field like a Mack truck, you don't need to be fleet of foot. First down, both tight ends left. the 20. Number 51 read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. <laughs> Neutral zone infraction. Number 93, defense. Five yard penalty. Repeat, second down. Enrique Daniels was lined up on the ball and the ref called him on it. That's a neutral zone infraction. Second and seven from 15 yards. Down! Did you like it, huh? Did you like it? <laughs> Number 32 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 32 is all over this play, decisively knocking away the pass. Miss Manners, I don't think, would approve of him cutting in third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 10, flight was one straight to the end zone and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Luther Hamilton came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. Number 1 kicks it from 32 yards and it's good! Number 1 kicks the field goal but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Number one boots it away. The Hawks let this bounce out of the end zone for a touchdown. The Hawks were stopped on fourth down last time out. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. in and it falls incomplete. Ryan Pagel ran an outside route but couldn't make a play to haul in that fling. Third drop of the game for him, Peter. And look, the coach looks absolutely frustrated. Oh yeah, Dan. Mistakes can kill what you're trying to accomplish on offense. No doubt about it. McClellan passes a high long run and it's tipped. Incomplete. Randy McClellan delivered a pass as hard as he could, but it wasn't nearly enough to connect with his receiver. And that'll do it for the third quarter. 24 to nothing. Pagel grabs 
the fastball over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. First down from the shotgun. McClellan throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete at the 45. Runs out of bounds at the 46. He picks up nine on the play. Number three is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second and one from 46 yard line. Number 23 takes it off the toss, and we'll end up losing a bunch here. All right, big play, let's do it again. Oh yeah, I hope they come at us the same way. Third and seven. Ball at the yeah, I hope you want extra breath. <laughs> fires this one over the middle and it's intercepted. Number 42 picks off the pass because he plays the zone so well here, completely snookering the quarterback. That's just how you do it, folks. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. Their 43-yard line. Vaughn pulls it a lot here, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 10, can't find his receiver as he's driven from the pocket. Still, he moves around and finds his man. Oh, that shows great versatility and leadership. This guy is a competitor. What a pass, and he is generating... Thanks for giving me all that time, boys. That's why us boys in the trenches get paid the big bucks, right? First and goal from Number 10, zips it to the left sideline, and it's tipped, incomplete. Aaron Chester couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air, and the offense is looking frustrated. The beat is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Smith chews up four yards, and that will bring up third down. Third down, goal to go. The Hawks loaded that pocket in a hurry with five linemen charging in. That sack was inevitable. Peter forced the loss of yardage on third, and now they face a fourth and long. How, how do you rate that defensive performance? Uh, about eight plus. Two thumbs up. Five stars. It's all good, baby. It's good. Number one kicks the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. Number one kicks it away. Pagel fields it way back at the ball. Tackle at the 30. Ryan Pagel received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Hawks are way down late in the game. They'll need some magic as they start this drive at their own 30-yard line. Barnes gets the sack way back at the 22. Eight yards on the play. McClellan unloads this to the right sideline, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Doug Miller eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain, and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops him, but way past the marker, this one's going to hurt. That's his second tackle so far. Jones! 
and forces the incompletion. Stan Jones knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Oh, for this is getting ridiculous. The offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. McLellian zings it to the right side, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. 16 yards on the play. First down, Hawks. I got you step for step. I got you. Powell makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Tracy Powell read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Yeah! Set! What? McClellan puts his arm into this one and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Darian Campbell places down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That's everything the coaching staff can ask for. Very consistent with the deep pass all day. What I want to know is how these receivers keep getting open long. Unbelievable. First and 10 from 15 yard line. is a quarterback who doesn't feel he has to force the issue. Yeah, he made a good, quick decision to fire the football right in there. And Dan, in his mind, nothing was going to stop him from completing that pass, unless, of course, it was intercepted. Well, that touchdown looks like the classic case of a little too late, Peter. Yep, the game got away from him early on, and now there's just not enough time left to make anything happen. Now the extra point, and it's good. Number 11 pooches it. The kicking team gets to it, but before it went 10 yards, that's an illegal kick. The Hawks tried an onside kick on that one, but the ball didn't go far enough. The ball's not live until it travels 10 yards, and that was not a live ball. Number 11 bounces it up there. Ellis catches it up at the 35. Stop it at the 33. Pete Ellis wasn't going to let a miracle happen on this onsides. It comes his way and then gets his hands around it to put the offense out on the field. Great work by this hands team. A gutsy call. And when you live high stakes, you win big. Or you lose big. Well, they lost. The Hawks take their first time out. Mark Ford used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down. The clock is stopped at 151. Back to the Hawks. They'll take a timeout. That's their second. First down, 10 yards to go. Takes the handoff and hits up the Hawks. Take the time off. That's their final one. Pick up on five on the play. Number 51 with the tackle. will tick down. Neutral zone infraction. Number 96, defense. Five yard penalty, first down. Anderson 
takes a knee and the clock will tick down. The clock will tick down. Third and thirteen from thirteen yard. Takes a knee, and that will do it. And that is going to do it for this one. 27 to 7. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 10 had it working as he connected with his man here for a big one. A 68-yard touchdown for the visitors. Have opened it up and now lead by 21. Midway through the third, this time at the 40-yard line. Number 80 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. That set up a 32-yard field goal. Now early in the fourth quarter, the Hawks losing by 24. Number 42 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Later in the fourth, Vaughn is going to find an opening in the secondary and he'll exploit it here. That set up a 27-yard field goal. Up 27 to nothing. McClellian would draw back and deliver a strike on this one. A 15-yard touchdown for the home team. And that will do it. Win this one 27 to 7. So then, it's time to give recognition to our 2K Sports Player of the Game. Number 10 showed us why he's one of the best. Well, the quarterback gets credit when his team succeeds, and he deserves it. He led his team through the air with a big game passing. Just look at those yards. His performance made the difference in this one. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.